Well, we're learning more about disciplinary actions against these two local firefighters who were both charged with DWI. News 13's Lacey Lee sat down with one fire chief as he now details the uphill battle he's facing after news of these charges broke. I mean, without a doubt, probably two of the best in both departments. It's just that, um, you know, and I'm not saying they're guilty or innocent, but obviously, you know, just made some bad decisions. According to North Carolina Highway Patrol, Kenneth Collard Jr. and Melquan Williams are charged with DWI after crashing while responding to a fire call. Collar is an assistant fire chief in Orem. Williams is set to become fire chief in Fairmont. Collar has been suspended. Williams was set to be suspended as well. But the majority vote from the county fire department board members is what's keeping him still on the job. The community needs to know that our board of directors did what they were supposed to do according to the bylaws and according to uh, uh, our attorney. And then the membership overturned the decisions of the board. Heasley says this has caused some board members to resign, and he's now facing a battle against the county. In this letter from the county, it stated that we had until the end of this week to submit a written letter in regards to the status of these firemen, and if we didn't get it by Friday, um, that they would be in the position to cancel our workers' compensation insurance. The other thing they've already done is suspend our funding. He says if this happens, the department will face serious issues. A, as a volunteer fire department, we would have no money coming in. Uh, from the county, which is where our money comes from, and B, if they pull the workers' comp insurance, I cannot send my people out into the field. News 13 first reported on this issue yesterday, and I have reached out to the county for confirmation and the fire marshal for an update in this investigation, and I am waiting to hear back. But count on News 13 for updates as we receive them. In Fairmont, Lacey Lee, News 13. Lacey, thank you. And you can also head over to WBTW.com to learn a little bit more about both men's past charges.